slave quarries in China are closing down one after the other because of environmental um, issues. Yeah. So, you know, that's what they say. Things are changing. Yeah. Things are changing. It used to be a big player on the West Coast. Oh, definitely. Not anymore. Yeah. So, is Brazil taking up a lot of the slack? Well, oh, we take up a certain amount for sure. And then Vermont, of course. Yeah. And uh, we've seen quite an increase in Spanish slates on the West Coast. Even if Spanish, the problem that we have and we'll always have, I believe, is the fact that we can only offer black or grey slates um, when China has an array of colors, uh, a fantastic array of colors. Mm. Brazil has, yeah, two or three of those colors could be available from Brazil. Yeah. But um, that was the beauty of China. I don't know. I, that was. I'm not. I'm not talking in the past. It is the beauty of China. I guess. Uh, but the 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 colors have somewhat fallen out of favor. It's a fashion thing, I guess. Yeah, I think so too. I think yeah. we're, we're we're seeing a lot more demand for, for the greys and blacks, blacks yeah. than we are. You know, traditionally here in Vermont, the greens were the mainstay of of our business, and now uh, not nearly as much demand for green. There seems to be more for the blacks and greys. Um, I mean, you know, your your Spanish black moving very well here in the U.S. No. Well, I believe as well in 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 Spain at some point, um, uh, probably they were looking at the USA as a very uh, far away country. You know, as I said, probably Europe. If we put all the countries together, it's taking fifteen hundred containers per month. So I mean, it's just massive what they're doing, and then. When you look at the United States, the size of this country is so big and the housing, I mean, the property are going up on prices and, and, and everything. You say, well, probably roofing slates on their roof would be the real answer. But still, we haven't seen that into numbers. Yeah, it's we very are, surprising. I yeah, for the last five years, um, the United States is importing the same volume from Spain yeah. than this year. Yeah, it really is surprising. It's not changing from our perspective, too. One would think that there would be a lot more uh, use of the natural stones and, and the superior product because the cost is comparable with what they're paying for the the artificial. Completely. That's why I'm amazed of when I'm um, with you guys and we go to different trade shows and we see all these fake slates, uh, call it rubber slate or plastic slates or whatever, um, non real slates yeah. made. Yeah. The price of it is the same that's. The price you have here in Vermont, or yeah. the price that we can export to from from Spain. So it's yeah. not it's not a price thing. It's just I don't know, maybe it's more more available. Yeah. Uh, or I don't I don't think I understand the answer either, Julian. I'll tell you the truth. It makes no sense that someone would buy a product that has clearly been shown year after year to be inferior, and we all see it. You know, when you go around, you see the artificial slates. Eight, ten years after they've been installed, most of them look like crap. They just don't hold up. And they know that the natural stones have been around for centuries, and they certainly have been in most of the major cities for hundreds of years. And I don't know, maybe that makes no sense, but maybe it'll change. We keep hoping. No. Well, there is a myth that says that natural slate is not available anymore. And that's really me because we're in Vermont right now, and um, I'm sure Bob will welcome all of you to come to Vermont and visit his, right. his, his quarries. But uh, stay. You but want. there is slates everywhere, yeah. and your mother will come to visit us in Spain, and there is slates everywhere. And we are making slates every day of the week. So I mean, yeah. I don't understand this thing about like um, for other products to say, oh yeah, natural slates, <sighs> impossible to get, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because there is slates wherever I'm going to anyway. Yeah. That's crazy all over the world. You're right. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you very much. Uh, always a pleasure to have you come visit Vermont. Thank you. Hopefully to be out your way in California sometime soon. Please do. Okay. Hope to get over to Spain and then maybe we've got some things to meet in, in Europe. Yeah. Do you have any options of coming, uh, thoughts of going to Europe to meet the groups? And I know you've got your home in Ireland. I you might go to, uh, I'd be interested in going to Norway, is it? That has that. Uh, Copenhagen. Yeah. Well, well, 
Scandinavia, yeah, we put the uh, kind of the cladding, mm -hmm. more interesting in, to look at. Yeah. But that would be a, uh, yeah, that would be nice to. Okay, well maybe we'll do an update that. after that, guys. You can all expect to see us all in Denmark, and uh, we'll do you an update. Thank you very much.